Hello and welcome back to our commentated Laser Force video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at a commander game by Moki. Um, to help me take a look at this video, I am joined by Ninja Jack. Hello! Rodak. Yep. Morange. Uh -huh. Light. Hey. And I am Demi Hawk. So let's dive in and take a look. Will I play any of these games? <laughs> Actually, come on, look at this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, there was a little yeah. collision there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, good use of a missile. Just the way the missile. Yeah. I heard the locking tone. I'm like, I need to go now. Oh. Uh oh. He's gonna take one. Yeah, yeah. That was good use of the base to get the missile reset. So, so that's two missiles early on. The first one didn't connect, and then you. The first oh. one missed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you shut it short. Fortunately for me. Is that often a problem? <laughs> so currently, has anyone got control of upstairs? No, it's pretty scrappy at the yeah. moment. The red team is certainly pushing hard. Yeah. One. For for most. Um, yeah, the Space Five game seems to be the battle of upstairs. Uh, bar a small major, a small minority, most people like defending up there. She's going to go for Android early. <laughs> Seen a lot of commanders recently save it to right at the very end of the game. It de it depends if you're going to be holding at any point in the game, or if you're just going to be straight out attacking. Yeah. If not, it just gives you five special points earlier to play with. Yeah, and get those nukes earlier on. Mm. Yeah. That's so annoying when it does <clears> that. <throat> That was an awesome attack there by um, mm, Moki. Okay. He just damage. basically yeah. just went in there and um, <coughs> went ham, basically. And it's, just a, it's just a shame that the missile <coughs> turn came up. Yeah. Mm. Early nuke by Mookie there. Oh, and, that sure. was yeah. Really yeah. Sort of and then he came back to get all the resets of people walking out, so... Yeah. That is a, a legitimate nuke strategy. Everyone, okay, those who probably should have been paying attention when he walks in. <laughs> They're all still trying to... They're also trying to get their heads back in the game after the nuke, and then he just walks in and zaps a few. Zapped Green Base that time around rather than using his missile. Mm. So the hippie's obviously gone out for attack while <coughs> he's getting resupped at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Um, Sometimes that's a good strat if your team's on top because basically you can just keep hitting them hard. But sometimes the, when the commander comes back, they're back for a reason to get re supped and like sending a heavy off straight away mm. can backfire. Yeah, it sometimes. depends on how much pressure the yeah. team yeah, has. Yeah, this, this one has worked out well because no one's attacking upstairs, yeah. so he's yeah. pretty much just had free reign to get re supped. And your heavy shouldn't be out for longer than minute, minute and a half tops. Yes. Just, just to basically keep the other team on their toes and not give them time to. Uh, you know, resupply everyone, but not, yeah. you know, go out there, use all your shots and lives, and then come back. Mm. Because if something goes wrong, yeah. <clears throat> did, did the heavy come back? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, likes the heavy for routine. Mm. I did see him come back. Mm. Alright, let's go. Let's check out. Oh, no, he's shutting Oh, no, he's shutting oh, no, back. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe shouldn't have left. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I'm still in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, ideally a commander should send one of the scouts out to go and, and retrieve the heavy. And if you're on the red team and you see both of them there, <laughs> you run upstairs to yeah. take them out, basically. Which uh, I think Jack might have done. Uh, this is this is just an unfortunate scenario sometimes when you have teams a bit scattered like this. Mm. Um, I mean, it kind of worked out still, but... Yeah, the, the only reason it worked out, that was a pretty bad play by me, but the only reason it worked out was because their resupply was so yeah. um, just scattered yeah. at that point. Because when that happened, we, there was a scout still back at base, so at least there was three people, but yeah. And but, like, uh, although Red I, was, I was hitting you, Jack, and you're their commander, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I had both, both your three hits down hmm. and your resupply, yeah. so that's yeah. the only reason it worked hmm. out. Yeah, because I was trying to—I was actually trying to get resupped. Because um, see, that I'm now on zero shots. <laughs> yeah, <you're empty. laughs> so, so yeah. Not only yeah, getting it's pretty hammered. Difficult. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's a good heavy takedown. Yeah. 
So he's obviously going to drop another note here. Judging by how he's going to the corner. There it goes. Yeah. So this is, I guess, a little different from the way most of the, I don't want to say experience, but certainly the players who have more games tend to stack the nooks as commanders. They tend to like to drop them in lots of twos or threes, or in the case of king, fours. <laughs> um, but in this case, he's kind of tended to drop them as he's had them available. I feel like that should more depend on the game state. If you guys are heavily on top, then saving them might not be a, be a bad idea. If, if your team is struggling and you get one, it's just it's a way to relieve pressure. Yeah. I think Steve said a lot of, in videos before about nuking for a purpose, not nuking for the sake of it. Yeah. Also, sometimes if you feel like you've put enough pressure on the opposing <clears> team, <throat> you might be able to take someone out. Yeah, because hmm. yeah, that does happen in an early game where you put so much pressure that the resource haven't had time yeah. to like give people mm -hmm. lives and yeah. you can eliminate yeah. them. That, the that, that the advantage of stacking is you sort of catch the other team unawares. If you drop two or three, that's nine lives can go. And if people are out and you know about to come back for resupply, low on both, and then you take out their medic with three nukes in a row, you can cripple their team. Yeah. But I think what the key thing you touched on there, and we've said this in previous videos, is, is nuking for a purpose and mm. not just nuking because you've got them. And yeah. we see a lot of times the commander will just sort of take a quiet point in the maze without communicating to his team, hey, mm. I'm about to drop. So even if you're only planning to drop one, and even if you can only grab one scout while you're in transit, just saying to the scout, hey, look, I'm about to go and drop, make sure, make sure you can get in and hit. Because mm. then you're really capitalizing on the fact that the the heavy yeah. is down, he can't protect yeah. the medic, and you can just go and get those medic resources. That was a very good clear out he just did before while we were talking. Yeah. He cleared out everyone, they all ran, and then I think he's coming back for some resupply. Well, he's sounding it pretty low, he's down to his final five shots. Yeah, I think he's trying to say to his heavy, get back. Right. So GMD's come up as an attacking heavy, which is enough to scare any defensive heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a close game. I mean, it's it's eleven medic lives to ten. So despite the fact that it's been but the, uh, but place, there is one nuke on yellow that hasn't, hasn't been dropped been by jackpot yet. Yeah. <laughs> just the lock just was not happening. No, <laughs> no wait, he just realised he's had missiles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that saved you, heathen. <laughs> so, as you're looking at the score, it's like realistically, in the scheme of things, it's actually not that far apart. At 4k, if you start hammering, if yellow starts hammering, uh, sorry, uh, red, yeah, it can, it, it can be made back. See, look, yellow. Three members have no bases at yeah, the moment. That's, so that's six thousand points. Exactly. So it can change very quickly. Yeah. So if you account for all the bases being destroyed, that would give yellow team another three grand. That's only going to put them a thousand behind. No, that gives them six grand because you get a thousand. Yeah, but red, red team is still missing three. Oh, yeah, right, well. yeah, too, yeah. So red would gain three, yellow would gain six. Yeah. Mm. So three grand different would definitely close, yeah, the, close the game and plus maybe a potentially a couple of missiles here and there. Yeah. Plus, as was pointed out, uh, Ninja Deck, you haven't dropped your nearly two nukes yet either. Yeah. So that's another thousand points. Yeah. yeah. That'll close the gap. So it looks like Mookie's almost holding upstairs without the heavy. Oh, unless the heavy's around the corner. No, the heavy's. No, I'm no. Attacking. Yeah, he's yeah. attacking. You yeah. can see he's out attacking. <laughs> He's getting he's getting some resupply, so he's on twenty seven lives and twenty shots. Yeah, it's, it's uh, such a slow. And there's the first. The yeah, the two nukes have now been dropped. See, that's that's brought the scores right back now. So yeah, it's less than less than a thousand. So and now we're starting. To more get importantly, yeah. the red medic is on two. Yeah. And, and the and the yellow damage. team is on eight, and they've now taken the lead because they've started yeah. to get bases. Yeah. So they've taken upstairs to an extent, because yeah, now G and D and the two um, the Meadow and Amic have uh, upstairs base. Yeah. Words, and Medic. English, English, <laughs> English should be lovely. See, but see that well, that was a massive turnaround. Like we were four grand behind as yellow, hmm. and now we're like three grand ahead. We're still three base. You know, now bases. Hmm. Uh, 
you know, three apiece, basically. And that was so, nipping for a purpose. Those two yeah. drop. I'm assuming you probably told your team in advance, or GNG just went up. Heard one, and heard like, one, okay, and you must yeah. be two nukes right gives you time to run upstairs and take control. Yeah. And trying to wrestle upstairs back off yeah, well, one, GND is just... Uh. One usually gets you upstairs, and then two basically makes you secure upstairs. Yeah. So, so sometimes, that, that is chaining, the, sometimes chaining is good for That is the aspect. advantage to stacking if you yeah. want to take where you're up, where the other team is based. Exactly. The only point where it goes wrong is if the other team immediately chains back. So mm. that sometimes can backfire. Did Mookie just detonate a nuke whilst running underneath? Probably. I yes. think that just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball a move, but <laughs> very ball. <clears throat> See, now it's, yeah. So that was sort of yeah. It didn't really do much to the game state. <laughs> See, the difference here now is that red team's got its full complement of uh, base. Yeah, bases. Sorry, where yellow, yellow still needs to sneak green base. Yeah, or red base. Sorry. Last thing, since since the the nukes okay, went no, off, basis. Red Medic has been yeah. untouched. He's still on two lives, so yeah, so now it's it's pretty even because everyone's got bases. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's grand. But if the, if the two scouts in the commander just start attacking uh, Red ba where the Reds yeah. are camped now, and you can get yeah. Medic's two lives down, that that yeah. kills the game almost. See, I'm, one gone. Yep, I'm almost next on in my next nuke, like a couple of kills away. Yeah, we're Moki is still four, uh, 13 hits away. Mm. But then he comes upstairs and that's a few... Yeah, well then he gets a few, you know, mm. that makes a difference as well, so... Yeah, in this game, the commander is doing less attacking and more defending. The heavy is doing more attacking <laughs> than defending yeah, the on the hits. other team. Mm. So... It's quite different game styles. So, yeah, yeah the red yeah. medic has just gone out. Yeah. yeah. And everyone actually has a half decent amount of lives left on their team, though, so they have resupped well. Yeah. I think uh, the Scout Doom being the only exception, everyone's a, a plus 10 with three minutes to go. So that should be enough to get you through to the end of the game. Oh. And now that they've lost their medic, all the Reds are just attacking. Yeah. Now the question is do they get enough points to win? Well, Mookie needs shots badly, and he's three off. He's on two shots, he's three off a nuke, and he's got no missiles. Yeah. And the nuke's just gone off. No, yeah. He found, he found me. <laughs> With one to go. Yeah. That's unlucky. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was going to say, fortunately, Rodak's still got quite a few lives left, but he's just lost, like, four in the last yeah. 30 seconds. So. <clears throat> so, as a commander, it's... it's. Yeah, but now he's out of shots, out of missiles... Yeah. On six lives. Everything's unavailable. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so, yes, he had like an awesome beginning, but like in game now, it's starting to. He had trouble finding his ammo. Yeah, yeah starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> I actually don't know where I am in this. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's lost his plot, lost where he is. <laughs> 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 Try to nuke. Oh, yeah, he's two points off. To, yeah. two hits off. He so. just needs one round of resupply. The five shots yeah. will be more than enough. Yeah. But I think you were calling either, were you? Yeah. Oh, the ammo is still alive. <laughs> Joe's like heavy uh, down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's just unfortunate. Yeah. I think it, we finally eventually meet up, but I'm not entirely sure. By that point, it's probably way too late. Uh, well, one resupply. Two shots, drop a nuke can be done in a minute and a half. It's just a matter of finding him. Oh, so yeah, look, he's got targets. Just, yeah. just yeah, that's ammo's weird. ammo. Ammo was behind you or in C bend because he just got shot. No, I think it was in disco, red disco, because um, mm. Greg. No, Greg. Greg Cook. just shot. Greg was in front of Mookie, <coughs> and you got went down. So he was aiming towards C bend or Spider. Mm. That's where you were. I managed to so resupply. that's the thing. This is a this was up until this point a very you good commander game, me. and yeah, now yeah, he's yeah, gone. Yeah. It's those it's those response. last three minutes yeah. where he couldn't find ammo were unfortunate, and yeah. he would have probably easily cracked ten, even eleven, by dropping the nuke. Um, yeah, probably. I guess the one thing he could have done is yeah. just yelled, yeah. just just yeah. yelled for ammo. Oh, I, it looks like I'm having a little bit of fun. Mm. 
Well, it's an attacking heavy at this point, and you've got plenty of shots. Again, again, Joe, you've got a. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just doesn't die anymore. No. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, it struck me thought all the same though. I mean, yeah. nine four two two is nothing to sniff at. Yeah, sniff at. But it's just sort of a lost potential game where yeah. everything was going pretty swimmingly until two minutes, three minutes from the end. It just shows yeah. you like having shots <laughs> is, is very key in the mm. game of space. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone here for helping uh, join us in the commentary. Uh, make sure you like the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you all next time. Do it. Bye. Peace.